Hey guys, what's up? It's Queenie here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. As you guys can see from the title, I am going to be showing you guys a new wig that I thought was really, really interesting. This is my first time trying an HD wig, so I'm really excited. Um, if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And if you're not, thank you for coming back and hanging out with me again as usual. And so, yeah, I'm going to show you guys this wig. It is from a company called Victoria's Wigs, and they make HD wigs. I've only seen that on Instagram. So when they reached out to me, I was like, I definitely need to try that because on Instagram, it looks crazy. It looks like undetectable, unclockable hair. So it comes in this cute little box, little black box that says Victoria's Wigs. And then inside, the wig is in there in this really pretty satin bag. It comes in this really nice white satin bag with these little tassels on the side. So you can always put your wig in here. Your hair comes nicely wrapped in a hairnet inside of the bag. So obviously the hair is sitting on my head. It's not installed, but I'm going to show you guys how it looks. I got the straight hair because I like to be pretty simple with my wigs anyway. So let's see how this looks. Um, I just placed it on my head and I'm already shook at this hair because the lace feels so nice and thin. So I know it's going to blend right into my skin. It is the knots. You can't even see them. Okay, so yeah, um, the hairline on this looks amazing, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut off this lace and we can stick it on and see how it feels. The one thing I do notice is that, yeah, this this actual, this lace piece is really soft and thin, which is good because then it meshes, it blends into your skin a lot better, so... Alright, so I went ahead and cut the lace off the front of this wig and I just want to show you guys the inside of the wig. So it has um, the tracks in the back and has a nice deep part frontal closure piece. It's a 6 inch deep lace frontal and it's 13 wide. And the rest is just sewn in tracks. And then it also comes with an elastic band so you can kind of secure it on your head a bit better. So I'm going to put this back on and we can move on. At the back of this wig there's also adjustable bands so I'm just going to pull those together and tighten the wig so it lays even flatter and there's a possibility that I don't really have to glue anything down. I also like my parts to be a little bit wider so I'm going to go ahead and pluck this a bit more so it looks even more natural. With In terms of the lace though this is great so I'm really happy with the coloring of the part as well. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so it looks better on my face. Okay, so I have plucked the part a bit more, but I'm going to wait till I straighten it and then add some concealer and then I will see if I need to do any more. But so far, I'm going to leave it how it is. I'm actually not going to glue it down just yet because the sides, perfect. Okay, so I have my little straightening comb and I'm going to go over the top of this wig just to smoothen it out. a little bit of mousse to the part right here on this side because it's a bit uneven Okay, so I have completely finished plucking and I think this is good enough. Um, I'm actually just going to do some slight baby hair action right here, just a tiny little bit. I'm going to use a tiny bit of Got To Be Free Spray right here. down my sideburns just because I prefer to leave that section of my hair completely alone. Um, usually I would secure my whole frontal but I'm just going to leave that part because um, I can just cover it with some hair without actually gluing it down and I don't like to have any product in that section because I don't want to pull it. 
So I'm just going to do this part right here, which is important because if the wind blows, you'll see that part first. You won't really see this section. So I'm only gluing it down or spraying it down up to here. And this is literally right out of the box, so <laughs> this is good. I really like just having a simple straight wig that's not too heavy, not too thick, not too dense, and it's just easy to manage. I can just throw this on my head and go. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can take a closer look at this wig installed, but you guys literally saw what I did. I didn't do much. I put on my head, cut the lace off, and stuck the parts I felt like I needed to stick, straightened it, and now I'm good to go. So, so I'm going to touch on a few points before we get to this. So this hair is 150 density and it is straight, so it is very lightweight. There isn't much going on on my head. Since doing this whole tutorial, I have not gotten a strand of shedding. The only hair that's come out of this head is the hair that I plucked out. So there's no shedding whatsoever. There's no tangles. So you can tell that this is built really well because nothing is coming out. I'm even pulling it and nothing is coming out. So I am very happy with this. This is my first time trying an HD wig and I feel like it's pretty good. All right, so that is it for my quick wig install, my HD wig install with basically nothing, no glue, a little bit of hairspray. And again, you don't have to use Got To Be Free Spray. You can use any hairspray. Hairspray and a little bit of mousse or water, leave in whatever you want to really lay down the top. I didn't even conceal the, the part and it looks great. So literally nothing. This is a very, very, beginner friendly wig so if you are looking for something like this I definitely approve this for especially my natural girls who have a lot of hair to squeeze under a wig this hair lays very very naturally so you won't look like you have a hat on top of your big hair so and I hope if you're a first time wig wearer that you'll see that this isn't as scary and strenuous as it needs to be the knots are bleached the front is plucked gradually and nicely and naturally so you don't need to do that yourself maybe the part a little bit but that's about it so if it's your first time wearing a wig this hair is definitely a good beginner wig because there's not much work that needs to be done it comes ready for you the color is perfect you guys see it's black I love black hair I don't like that off brown black color that usually wigs come in especially having dark skin sometimes it's hard to get a wig that can actually blend nicely onto your face onto your forehead so this is pretty good this is really good so Shout out to Victoria's Wigs, this was an amazing experience. Now you know what's up and you know how it works and how it looks, so I definitely would recommend this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will leave all the details down below. Let me know if you have any questions about this hair or how to install or how to make your life easier or just about wigs in general. If you have any questions about this unit specifically, comment down below, thumbs up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And yeah, we can stay connected over there, so it's a little bit easier. And make sure you turn on the notification bell as well so you don't miss any videos from me. And I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Bye!